just when you didn't think things could be any better. We get a tripod, we get a tractor, and here is the review. Here we are, the Uckham lads. We're reviewing Massey Ferguson 5465 Dyna transmission. Dyna 4 transmission. Dyna 4 transmission. So, firstly, we'll start with the passenger seat. Hard. <laughs> Hard on the backside. I can inform you. Admit, and also, I mean, I'm not a slim chicken, I don't know, about 15 stone, but most of that is muscle. I'm quite broad shouldered, but I'm still slim and fit and good looking. But anyway, back to seriousness. There's not a lot of room, actually. It doesn't actually give you a lot of room on the, um, on, you know, on the passenger seat. Like Luke's sitting there, there's not a lot of room here. But it's comfortable, but you have to hold on to this handle which is fine it's fine but it marks out a 10 for the passenger seat it's, it's probably it's probably a five in all honesty or based on i just find it a, a bit small but then agree uh, i will admit it's a passenger seat in a tractor cab like how big do you want it um Comfort wise, I mean, I can't really give you an option on that because I'm not in the driver's seat, but Luke will. What do you think of the, well, you know, I mean, it's a tractor at the end of the day, isn't it? I mean, I should point out that we're not on a, a no. we're not on an A road, no, so you would have to expect it to be a little bit bumpy. I mean, you know, we've got knobblies on, agricultural tyres, we're going down a country lane, you know, literally just big enough to fit this down. Well, no, that's a bit of an exaggeration. But, I mean, you know, I'm in a tractor all day, every day, and I can quite happily say this is comfortable. Like, this is a comfortable, well, it's just a comfortable tractor, you know. Just... Is what it is. And what's as is it a what's the seat air suspension or is it not air suspension? No, yeah, this, yeah, this is yeah, this is electronic, so it's got its own little compressor and that. So it's a uh, what? What would you say the seat is in it? What is that? Well, what do they call that? Air suspension. Yeah, basically. But then also, this has got some form of cab suspension as well, I believe. Like well, we want to be pretty accurate because if someone was going to buy one and was like, well, those two blokes have got one, they don't even know if it's got cab suspension. Well, Look, yeah. Yeah. summing up the comfortness of it, for me, I would say, I would say it's pretty, I would say it's probably a little bit above average. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, you wouldn't say it's uncomfortable, would you? No. So it's not uncomfortable to be in with driving along. So oh, Steve Molling, yeah. summing up the um, comfortness, um, good, good, solid seven out of ten. Easy, yeah. And so we're just pulling away now, so we might as well go with the gear, the Dyna Four transmission. So basically, it has. For those of you that don't know much about the Dyna 4 transmission, it's a 16-speed uh, gearbox, but like that is 16 in forward and actually 16 in reverse. But like we we'll just say 16. Yeah. And yeah. so basically, 
the little black lever that Luke has got there. T-handle. It's called a T-handle. It controls all the gear, like you can do all the gears on that, but we have got the shuttle here, and you can flick that up or down to change gears. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the Dyna 4 transmission, that, uh, if you're going to really? buy... If you're going to buy one of these tractors, I would imagine you've already looked up about the Dyna 4 transmission. It's very, very simple to use. My only slight criticism would be, but that's perhaps because it's not actually a British vehicle, would be... Make it so that... A, like, B, so you've C, got a... Are actual so, and in England, I'm going to say in England, I'm used to gears being one, two, three, four. Obviously in a car you can have five and six, but in a tractor, one, two, three, four. And um, on this Massey Ferguson, 5465, I don't know whether it's the same on other models. I'd imagine it could well be. Yeah. The gears are A, B, C, and D. And the ranges are one, two, three, and four. Whereas I would have put that the other way round. Like a range, in a range you've got four gears. Like on our older tractors, you've got low range, high range. So when we first got in it, it baffled us a little bit because we're going along in like 3D and thinking that we're in the third range in no, I'm thinking we're in the D range, which is the highest range, and the third gear. It's so the second, you know, literally the second highest gear, but actually we wasn't. We was in the third range in the highest gear in that range. So just, um, once you've got your head around it, it's easy. But like, so right now, Luke's gonna, Luke's gonna downshift on the shuttle. So it is literally just a flick, a flick down. That shuttle, if you lift it up, it puts it into neutral and you won't go anywhere. You don't actually have to use the clutch, but obviously, there's a, there's a taste test Tuesday there. Mr. Nolan following us behind. Um, but the gear changing is relatively easy. Well, no, it's not relatively easy. The gear changing, what would you say, 10 out of 10? Easy. I don't I don't know how you beat it. You know, some people have up and down buttons, plus and minus, don't they? But yeah, I do. But th there's no different to the T ant. Like it's literally no different. So yeah, ten out of ten. I'd rate the Dyna Four transmission up there with. And Luke drives a, the tractors quite a bit. He rates the Dyna Four transmission quite high. So we go for ten out of ten easy. for that. Easy. The tractor itself is a six cylinder engine which i believe turbo. is a yeah look it's a turbo six cylinder the tractor itself is a turbo six cylinder engine is it and i think it's a perkins engine or it is the perkins engine and i believe it's 120 horsepower but that again when you look them up that varies on what what year tractor you buy and what engine and what engine that you've got in it like this one is an 07 plate it's like this you know i'm in top range top gear and i'm just cruising along what we're doing 22 oh i don't know whether that's 22 kilometers or 22 mile an hour because it don't say that's one criticism we should have miles an hour or kilometers i'm assuming it's kilometers i'm assuming but you know just, it's just like like that, you know, just shifting down gears like that, and then like normal in a car, you put your foot down, pull down again. I'm into range three, pull away like that, just easy, and then don't even have to take your foot off the accelerator. tractor all day long use carting with this or silage whatever something like that easy and the fact that it's got low low creep gear as well so yeah perfect. 
the, the creeper gear the creeper gear is slower than slow like it is very very slow and as Luke just said he does a lot of hedge cutting as well perfect for uh, hedge cutting with a creeper gear um, but like that we're doing you know that's my foot flat now you know and it's pulling up here not even losing power going up here yeah, we've I mean, just gone past 40k. This ain't, this ain't no so we're at 41.2 kilometres an this hour. This ain't no young tractor, you know, it's 07. It's 15 eight, years old. It's got nearly, nearly, you would say it's, it's over eight, eight and a half thousand hours, well it is, more than towards nine thousand hours, you know. And so we were told it was just used for carting a um, water belter around on a building sites or you know roadworks or whatever. But just oh, thank you. Just easy look, and then you just straight away. Ain't even got to touch the clutch. Want to go down into range three? Press the clutch button on the T handle. Pull down. Puts me into range three gear D because of the speed that we're going. If you want to go slower? Knock it down. Oh, we're in now. C, B, A. No throttle. Just one criticism as well. Could do with a bleep on the indicator, which you could probably fit yourself. It ain't difficult. But well, to let you know the indicator's yeah. on. Or just have auto, auto correct. I know, it's steaming up. Steaming up in here a bit. Uh, I mean, I could review, we could review things like heaters and the radio, but basically it's got a radio, uh, it's got air con, which not 100% whether it works or not. Um, I mean, obviously, depending on, on what tractor or whatever you buy, it would work or not work. That's not actually anything to do with the model of the tractor or the tractor itself. It just is what it is. Um, I actually think aircon does actually work in this one. Um, in a minute when we pull up, I'll show you the we we just give a quick run over on the controls. Now then, this part of the video is delayed. Again, if any of you are watching this thinking, hold on a minute, they're not wearing the same clothes. That is because when we got out of the Massey Ferguson, there was a slight problem. We turned it off and it didn't start again. So it's been out of action for a week. Um, I can inform you, all it was was then. the alternator belt had you, you come off. Well, actually, there was, I'm doing myself an injustice here. There was no bolt holding the alternator in, it snapped off. Um, and for whatever reason, I guess it wasn't, there wasn't enough power to um, turn the ECU on to tell it to do things. But anyway, so. Review around the outside. I've got him here. Tractor man of the year. Major service. He reckons it needs a service. What do you make of the outside of it? Mm. Disgusting. I quite like the fact that it's got, I've... that you can get in it from both sides. Well, you can on most tractors other than a Massey Ferguson Sun Carubber, which only has one door, one side. Or a John Deere 3140. Um... What about your John, your John Deere? That you did have. Side. Well, I never see you getting into it from the other side. No, because no one gets in. No, yeah, but what I'm saying is. No one gets in the left, right hand door. Go on then, get in from that side. Yeah, but why would you want to? Well, just show them. But why do you want to get in a truck? Well, because people might want to see. Oh, look at that. Straight away. Well, that's crapping because. Bloody... That's because. Oh, you can't put straps no, behind the seat. Don't put it behind the seat. Right, look. look. Look, see? Oh, it feels weird trying to get in. But that isn't how you would get in that tractor, is it? Yeah. Like if you use a normal, look, see, easy. Nice to see you kept it clean in it. It's a working tractor. So basically, 
what we've established from that is that you can quite easily get in from the outside. One is supposed on right to be side. like an emergency exit. That's why they do it. What, if you couldn't get out the left hand door? Yeah, that's what why it is. Why couldn't you just get out the back then? You can. So you've got two emergency exits? You've got three really, one, two, three. That's what it's about, it's emergency exits. All oh, right. That new Kubota. So you think this tractor's got good emergency exits? Yeah. Better than that John Deere. See if that John Deere caught like with you in it. Yeah. You. I'd have put it out. You look like a bit of brown pudding. Hmm. Probably. Is it brown pudding? I done some recording today. Yeah. Deep joy. Mowing. Oh, big Aaron. mirrors, aren't they? You know what they say about big mirrors? What? Big more, tractor. Yeah, to see more. They are big mirrors on this on this tractor. Obviously, it's all stuff. I don't, I mean, like I don't really know what you can see on the outside. One thing I don't like about these bigger tractors is the fact that the steps, as you go further down, the steps get further in. Look. I mean, oh, in I, fairness, well, I've just yeah, in I've fairness, just broke that cable tie. Well, fix that the other. Like a shave. <laughs> see that. In fairness, oh, no, no, no. though, you saying that, you can just adjust that. <clears throat> yeah. But Which I mean, you just did. let's face it. And broke my cable tie. But um, Minky. Luke actually measures the size of the tractor by the amount of steps that, that it takes to get into it. Whether that is actually a, diff a measurement, but we'll measure this tractor by it's got three okay. steps to get into it big. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, no. um, around this side, diesel tanks obviously here, pretty much self-explanatory. It actually isn't as wide as what you'd think. I mean, how wide are we talking here? Wide. Seven, eight foot, give or take. That's lighter. It's not actually that wide. Still repping John Deere. What? John Deere lighter. And then obviously, around the back here, we have got it on the splitter, but you've got the hydraulic buttons, you've got the hydraulic buttons either side, there, you've got two caps there that you could have something in, I don't know what, PTO guard goes up and down, but it would do if that chain weren't there, that's just holding the PTO case in, six spools, You've got air brakes and all the other gubbins and then obviously just so you know you've got the buttons over the other side as well so everything wouldn't you say pretty standard on the back here yeah Luke really likes these that'd be good you just like that and then drop your balls in there all in all tractor drives well I'm I am actually struggling to think of a negative I'm actually struggling to think of a negative I mean the negative the only negative I would give it but that could possibly be because of the tires is it, how poor it is in mud heavy tractor though isn't it but they are quite a heavy tractor which I wondering whether that is the reason but then the ground is but it's, it's yeah but that is but like I that sort of would get stuck on a rainy morning tractor. Like that it is not very good in the mud. I, whether it's the tires, whether it's the weight. I mean, I've always said, what do you need a four wheel drive tractor for? You never get stuck. Probably let some air out the tires, but then four wheel drive needed on this. <clears throat> they are. That is literally, I, I reckon that is probably the the only negative, the weight, the weight, but then that could go for it. They are. Probably if you have front weights on it, they'll put it out. I've got half a ton on the front of that new Kubota. But, it is, it's some tractor. I took it out on the road the other day, first experience with the Dyna 4 transmission on the road for towing. Oh, what a dream. What an absolute dream that is, you know, yeah. downshifting and when you're going uphill with sort of three, four, five ton on the back, whatever you've got, absolute dream it pulled it going uphill. 
very easy. So that is the review of this tractor, the biggest we've ever had, the newest we've ever had, the fanciest we've ever had. Um, all in all, my rating is, I would give it a good... 10 out of 10. Uh, you'd have to, you have to mark it down for what it's like in mud. If you're going to get this tractor because you've got a lot of field work, then I'm, I'm just... Right, you need good tyres. Um, I'd admit the tyres don't help the grip on this, but with that said, it is still very poor in the mud very poor i mean i'm not we haven't got we haven't had it stuck i'm not saying it gets stuck but the mess it makes is astronomical but i think it is due to the weight of the tractor so um yeah so that's the your review done and dusted i've got to take the crane trailer off once again thank you everyone for the uh, subscribes really hope you're enjoying it we're doing our best to, to uh, put a smile on people's faces it isn't easy considering the world we live in, but we are doing our best. I, I keep saying, we're at that time of year where the footage is always sort of pretty much the same, so it is hard work. I'm lucky I have Luke that does his bit of filming, so you get to see sort of an outside perspective as well as our perspective. But yeah. Just hit that like button, give us a comment, and let's see if we can get the channel growing. We're still, we're on 74 subscribers. Subscribe, welcome to all of you. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope everyone's enjoying it. And remember, the only way is up. The only way is up. See you all soon.